All right, so we've seen that we can integrate sort of sideways to find the area of regions. I want to give another uh, quick example where we can integrate sort of both directions and find the uh, area geometrically. Right, so integrating sideways to find areas. So remember, the idea is you can either integrate from the smallest x value in the shape to the largest x value in the shape, the height of the shape, or you can sort of turn your head sideways and think of y as your input as x and x as your output, integrate from the smallest y value to the largest y value, the width of the shape. So let's uh, find the area of the region. bounded by y equals 2x, y equals 2, and the y-axis, x equals 0. So this is just a triangle. So we can sort of triple check our answer. We're going to find the, uh, the volume two different, well, three different ways and make sure we get the same answer. So y equals 2x and y equals 2, this horizontal line, uh, meet when x is 1. So we're trying to find the area of that triangle. And so the easiest way is just to say, hey, this triangle has width 1 and height 2. So easy way. is to just say um, the area is the area of a triangle with width 1 and height 2. So the area is 1 half base times height, which is just 1. Okay, the second easiest way is to integrate it horizontally. We'll do that last. The sort of hardest way is to do this the way that you would normally do it, which is to say, I can integrate from the smallest x value of zero to the largest x value of one, top function minus bottom function, right, the height. So the hardest way is you know, treating it as an integral where you do it normally, sort of, vertically instead of horizontally. All right, so when I think about it vertically, I have to integrate from the smallest x value of 1 to the largest x value, sorry, the smallest x value of 0 to the largest x value of 1. The, um, I should do this in color, the height of the shape, and the height of the shape at any given x value between 0 and 1 is top function minus bottom function. So this top function is you know, y equals 2, the bottom function is y equals 2x, and then, you know, if I pick an x value here, I want to start at the smallest x value and integrate up to the largest x value to get the height. <clears throat> so this height here is 2 minus 2x. integrate from the smallest x value to the largest x value this height of the shape, I can get the area, which we know should be 1. So I integrate from the smallest x value 0 to largest x value of 1, top function minus bottom function, so 2 minus 2x dx. So an antiderivative of this is 2x minus x squared, evaluated from 0 to 1. So this is 2 times 1 minus 1 squared, which is 1, uh, minus this thing evaluated at 0, which is just 0. 
and 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's probably the most complicated way to do it. And then the sort of in-between way would be to integrate this horizontally, because then your bottom function is just x equals 0. So you don't have to sort of worry about, you're just finding an area of a function where x is a function of y, that's always positive. So sort of in between is to integrate sideways. Um, so I want to integrate from you know, the smallest y value to the largest y value, the width of the function, which will be the right side minus the left side. The smallest y value is y equals 0, and the largest y value is y equals 2. And then I want to integrate the, the width of this shape. So this right-hand side, where x is thought of as a function of y, you just solve this y equals 2x for x. So this means that x is y over 2. And then your left boundary is just x is equal to zero. So if I integrate it from the smallest y value to the largest y value, the width of the function, which is just y over two, x is equal to y over two, I'll get this area. So integrate from the smallest y value to the largest y value, the width, which is y over 2, with respect to y. So I'm thinking of y as my variable now. Antiderivative of y over 2 is going to be y squared over 4, evaluated from 0 to 2. And when y is 2, you get 4 over 4, which is 1, and when y is 0, you get 0. So this is 1. So this is sort of three different ways to find the same area, um, a geometric way, integrating with respect to x, which is a little bit more complicated, and then it's actually a little bit easier in this case to think of this thing sideways, because then you don't have to worry about sort of subtracting off a the lower function. Alright, so we'll do some more complicated examples as well.